going to offer a second. It's great for us American race fans to see some new blood in the front of the races. school and uh, sport at a professional level things are gonna go wrong things are gonna be difficult days are gonna be harder than others being flexible and being okay with things not being perfect has has really helped me strike a balance between the two do you have to know I'm doing everything that I can but I'm also doing what I need to be happy and to be a person who loves to bike and wants to perform. And at the end of the day, that's really what makes a difference in those kind of last few percent. It's who wants it more, who's more ready. I don't know. It's, it's cool, but also really hard. <laughs> but I think it forces me almost every day to question, is it worth it? Like, I know it's what I want to do. I know I want to get my degree and I know bike racing is so important to me and doing both at the same time is often really challenging but also really meaningful, really rewarding and pushes me because if they weren't important, honestly, I'd probably have quit. <laughs> Last year I took two quarters off kind of to train full time with the Olympics in mind. Um, but also to make the most out of those last few U23 years on the World Cup circuit. I was able to prepare in a way I've never prepared before and while it seemed like a long shot, I was able to kind of use that Olympic dream as extra motivation. I'm learning that it takes active focused preparation to get myself there more mentally than anything and I have to trust that the fitness is there and you're not gonna you're not gonna train into shape on race day. The first day it rained I was like hey you know it's kind of cold it's raining like could I ride the trainer and he texted me back and said I think you need to be mentally tougher and I was like it's gonna be a long season it's gonna be a long season. <laughs> When I get to the start line, I'm, I'm there to do work uh, and I'm there to go all in on race day. A lot of people will tell you to race really tactically, but I would rather know that I gave a full effort and did the best I could and at least tried to be off the front than to ride a more conservative race. You better just surrender cause I stand my ground. You better just surrender cause I stand my ground. You better just surrender cause I stand my ground. You better just surrender cause I stand my ground. I found myself at the front of the race very early on, which is sometimes a little bit nerve wracking, especially when, you know, the third and fourth place Olympians uh, from 2016 were in the field. But my motto for the day was to trust your stuff and commit. So I went with it. It was a huge confirmation that what I've been doing this year is working and that I'm on track to be able to compete with them. Uh, you know, these have really been my heroes in the sport and even being up on a podium with them uh, is a dream come true, but to be able to actually beat some of the women that I've looked up to for so long was just a really exciting step in my career. Now I'm focused on, I want to go to be the best and I want to go to compete and to win.